All right, everybody, Jake Ravy here, Flat Six Innovations, coming to you with another Flat Six Minute. So this 2008 997 C4S Targa is a rare car. And this one came to us with a cracked cylinder. And like a lot of these cars, it's got tons of debris in the front grill area, okay? And you can see that it's had a lot of damage done by debris to the radiators, okay? So this car has got uh, just over 100,000 miles on it. And uh, you can see all this debris that's up in the front bumper. And you can see more damage done to these radiators. So when a car comes in with a cracked cylinder, sometimes nothing leads to it because these cars had problems with the factory cylinder material being weak. Um, and the open deck design from the factory kind of lends itself to even having more problems when the engine is not running as cool as it should. Of course, the coolant temperature gauges in these cars are a joke. They say you're running 175 all the time on the coolant temperature, which is a lie. Uh, I've personally seen these cars run over 210 or so degrees on the coolant temperature and never be indicated at higher than 175. In fact, you have to get one of these engines to overheat before it will show anything more than 175 indicated on the gauge. So all this debris that's in here, some people would say, hey, you know, I'm gonna put a grill over this and protect it. And I'm gonna put a grill over this and protect it. When in fact, that makes things worse. And the reason it makes things worse is because we've proven in direct back-to-back -back comparisons on the street and on the track that those grills act as diffusers. They break up the airflow and they will make these engines run even hotter. This is something we've proven over the last five years or so of constantly paying attention to this because we see more and more cars come here that have this issue and they have grills over the radiators. The grills also do not keep all the trash out because there's other areas in these bumpers that can allow the trash and debris to get inside of those uh, areas and still create resistance to flow through the radiators, okay? So you're not really going to end up seeing a benefit uh, by putting those grills on. You're only going to see negatives by putting those grills into place, okay? We never use those. My advice to you, if you own any M9X car from 1997 through 2008, or even if you have a newer car, do not use inlet grills. What you want to do is you want to uh, take this bumper off and you want to inspect it at least once a year. And you want to go inside and you want to you know, pop the bumper cover off. It only takes a few minutes and you want to remove debris out of here. If you don't want to take the bumper off, at least stick a shot vac in there. But you see all these bent fins on this radiator? Those are blocking airflow. So it's hard to say exactly what led to that. I would think debris going inside this area has led to it because if you see up here, those are not bent in that area, okay? You've got a lot of area here that is, that is damaged because that's where the air is coming straight into this area. Now, could an inlet grill stop that debris and stop that damage? Yes, it could. But in my experience, it's going to do so with a compromise of diffusing the air which just does just as much damage as having these little fins bent and distorted on the radiators. So in that case, I highly recommend the solid aluminum CSF radiators. They have much stronger fins. Uh, at this point, all these cars are old enough to really need uh, the radiators replaced because they're factory, factory uh, plastic radiator bodies and having the aluminum CSFs have stronger fins and they're also aluminum bodies. So you don't have those issues. So think twice before you put on those grill covers. If you've got them and you know what I know, you would remove them. You would keep your front bumper area clean. You would replace your radiators and the chances of you having a cylinder failure are gonna be greatly reduced. That's in my direct experience, not what we've seen on Google, not what we've watched on YouTube videos. That's a direct experience speaking from the guys that see more of these engines fail than anybody in North America. That is undisputed. Jake Ravy, Flat Six Innovations, Flat Six Minute, here for Renvision.